Welcome back to Mari's Music and another edition of Guitar Store Virtual Tour. Episode 202. It's very good to see you guys on this early show. We have a matinee for you again. I have a little bit going on later where I couldn't be here at 4 o'clock. If you are here at 4 o'clock, hopefully the show will be just as good, just a little bit late, a little bit seasoned, not right out of the oven, but uh, not too stale in the same respect. I want to say hello to Rosalind on a short break from work. And uh, Phil is here from Winnie, Central Eastern Illinois, 75 degrees. It's getting near about 65 here in Coldale, but in the studio, I'm sure we're right at 72, 73, so not far off. What's up, Jim Bayerly, or as I call him, Grandpa? Congratulations again. Uh, Annapolis, Maryland, reporting from Annapolis. Wow, did they kick you out of Vermont after all this time? Please let me know how that came to be. I've been kicked out of much nicer places myself. We have a good show today. This show is called Smaller Body Guitar. We're going to show you things like an O, a double O, a triple O, a long scale triple O that might be called OM, but it's not because it's a Blue Ridge. And this is kind of a work in progress here at Maury's Music. We are trying our hand at a 30 minute show. I'm not sure if we're going to stick to this format, but I did ask you guys on YouTube would you prefer to have it all viewer request? Or all, or I pick all the uh, all the guitars, and I'm surprised. Very few of you wanted to take control. Nobody wants a steering wheel here. You guys wanted me to pick them, uh, and somebody was actually nice enough to say it keeps it sort of centered, a common theme instead of all over the place. That's always up to change. If we find over time uh, that it's worth looking at an all viewer request show, we're going to do just that. But today, I get to pick them all. It's Small Body Guitar Wednesday. Virtual Tour 202, and it starts right now. All right, so once again, if you are tuning in at the 4 o'clock time slot, thank you very much for not minding that I put my shift in a bit early. Hopefully you'll get the same amount of value watching it after the fact. Not my choice. Elder Sister isn't doing so well. Thanks for your thoughts. I'm sorry to hear that, Jim. Whenever I make a joke like that, as soon as I do say it, I, I do you know, seriously hope that it's going to be a funny answer as well, and that's not the case this time. So our prayers are with you guys, and I certainly hope uh, everybody goes back to Vermont uh, with better news. Uh, sooner than later, uh, we'll be thinking of you. And we're thinking of a small body guitar to start. More specifically, the OX1E. Please let me know if you've seen this guitar before in the program. It's not its first time, but 280 is the ending serial number here. Should be called Guitars That Make You Feel Big. Oh, that's going to be the episode with the D45 Fire and Ice and the Homeward. But yes, I see where you went with that, Phil. That does make sense. Uh, here we have the OX1E, the X-Series Little Wonder. And the fact that it's a 1 means that the back and sides and top are HPL, very resistant to humidity and temperature, very robust. Uh, the trade-off is they're not quite as projective as a guitar that has a solid spruce top, but projective just the same. Let's take a look at and listen to 280 OX1E. You're watching Virtual Tour. Thank you very much for being here.
maybe a play on fills, play on words. Guitars that make your wallet feel big. This guitar is very inexpensive. Very big sounding, I believe, for the price. The OX1E. And those in the know know that it used to be called the OX1MAE, or at least back in 2017. And Jim would know it's his guitar. Good eye. Hey, what's up, Roseanne? I'm just back from work. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm in the middle of my work day. It's good to see you here. And I just thought of a reason we should not call this program Guitars That Make Your Wallet Feel Big. Because of this thing. Double O28. All that savings we just bragged about on the OX1E. Um, that's not here. Here we're going to graduate from the X series all the way up to the standard series. How much of a jump is that X series? Road Series, 15 Series, 16 Series, Standard Series. So quite a jump. Uh, your wallet will certainly feel this. You can buy a 0028 or a bushel of OX1Es. But here's why there's a difference. Here we graduate to a 00 body, solid spruce top, solid rosewood back and sides, full dovetail construction made in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. The list goes on. 968 is our serial number here. And it's, uh, I think it bears mentioning these guitars are sort of similar in size. And then everything else about these two guitars is wildly different. I'm still dreaming of being home from work, Rosanna. Rub it in. Let's try the 0028 Standard Series Martin Guitar.
point, Rosanna. Good point. How many people are dreaming of a 0028 in the middle of their work day? Your dreams have come true. guys think of that 0028 even with the strumming I'll be you got to be a little careful I uh, I wouldn't say that the 00 short scale design in general is a great strummer but with some care I certainly didn't dig into it like I would my OM a long scale uh, road worn thing but if you're if you're careful how it happens and you're careful about your attack and how much you kind of accommodate for the short scale length I think they strum okay if you compare this to something like a 00 or a 0028 even staying short scale, but the bigger body, I think, does get improved. And then, graduate to an OM-28, something like this long scale. Uh, the character is going to change quite a bit. Uh, the sound and the feel uh, with finger picking. But I do think in those situations, something like that will be more uh, stronger for strumming. So, let me know in the comments or the live chat. What do you think of this guitar? When I took a pick to it, I'm curious to see what you guys think. And maybe you're thinking, that's all well and good. Why don't you show me a guitar that's been on the program many times, maybe something you have two or three or four of, uh, something that just has been on the shelf forever. I have just a guitar for you. It is the Triple O 12 Ecoa. This is an oddball for us. I think I told this story a few times, but we, when this guitar was reasonably new, uh, we sold a lot of them. We would sell three or four, so we'd order six. We'd sell four or five, so we'd order nine. We'd sell 9 or 10, so we'd order 15. And then uh, the b bottom fell out kind of in a certain way. I'm not sure why, but we have had these last three Triple O 12 guitars for quite some time. Uh, and I think this one I'm playing right here has been on the program a few times. The serial number ends in 262. Are you a fan of Koa? Let me know what you're thinking of uh, when you hear these guitars back to back to back to back. I know there's a... A friend of the program that sometimes comments, and they have a back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back name, too. Maybe she wants to buy a triple O 12 ECOA. Hey, Carlos, good to see you. What were you dreaming of, Koa, uh, Carlos? At 1 p.m., we're taking surveys. While you're thinking about answering that, I will play a little bit on triple O 12 ECOA before eventually leaving the Martin brand altogether and showing you a very cool Blue Ridge at the end of this program, but that's put in the cart ahead of the court cart ahead of the course on the horse. That's playing that guitar too early. 
That's what happens when I do too much talking and there's a need for more rocky, less talky. Rosewood is my next guitar, says Carlos. Man after my own heart. Rosewood was my last three guitars. Phil was dreaming of lefty mahogany baritones. <laughs> I wonder how long till that dream becomes reality. What's up there, Tim? Favorite o triple O is the 15M. That's long scale, more like an O. I'm wearing a triple O badge, exactly. There are just too many examples in the Martin lineup where the OM should be called triple O and vice versa. Typically and almost historically, OM should mean long scale, wide nut, teardrop pickguard. And triple O should mean short scale, narrow nut, dreadnought pickguard. But at times Martin can say, I'll do what I want. And I'm not totally sure, especially if you ask Spoon Phillips, I'm not totally sure that's not about to change again. But as this is being recorded in 2024, yes, the uh, you certainly could call an OM, a triple O 15M, an OM. And by rights, I, they probably should. Because that's got both the, well, you just should. I think you should. I'll leave it at that. I learned my lesson talking too much a minute ago.
All right, it's not going to trick anybody into thinking it's rosewood, but holds its own. Triple O 12 ECOA. Again, the serial number here is 262. We do invite you to find this product on marismusic.com. Go to the images tab and you'll see more pictures of this guitar and it's two or three brothers and sisters. You pick the one you like the best. If it doesn't go by sound, uh, if they all sound too similar to you, which it's very possible, uh, you can pick on the one that you like the best look of. And what you could even do is go to that website, find the one you think looks the best, holla at me, and we can talk about it from there. And from there, we only have one more guitar to show you. It is the Blue Ridge BR63. Here we're trading in the Martin name for Blue Ridge. We're trading in solid for laminate. This is laminate rosewood back and sides. We do have a solid top with a very comfortable uh, dovetail neck. And this is the part of the program I would typically ask you, let me know what you want to see in the second segment, but since there technically is no second segment, let me know if there's anything you wish you would have seen on this program, especially if you're in the market or thinking about making a purchase. We can certainly make every arrangement to make a video later, put it up on YouTube within the next day or so. If there's something you want to see and I just didn't get to show it, maybe I didn't read your mind and play exactly the four guitars you wanted to audition, let me know what you want to see on YouTube. And next time I sit down uh, upstairs in the string room, I will throw together a brief video of that guitar for you. Uh, dare me, if you don't believe it's true, I dare you to try. So let me know what you want to see. Which would I pick, says Jim. Thank you, Jim. All these episodes, 202, that might be one of the first times somebody asked what I would choose. So far, I would uh, it's cliche, I would take the 0028. Uh, I'm just a fan of the Rosewood Standard Series sound. Uh, I don't have a current, I currently don't have a short scale instrument. So before I even play this one, I would probably lean towards the 0028. Tim, for me, the SC, did they make a 12? I thought it was 10 or 13. G good question. They have trim 10. They have trim 10 Sepaly. Trim 13. They do not have... Yeah, they have a 10 and a 13. They do not have a 12. 12 would, would just be different inlays. So they currently have the very dressed down SC10. And then they go up to the SC13. And they build off the 13 with the 13 Special and the SC13E Special Burst. So yes, that's a, a hole in the lineup, as they say. There is no SC12. That's a good trivia question. If you guys are out at the bar later, ask your Martin friends that. We have the BR63. This serial number ends in 436. While you're listening to this, please let me know what you want to see in a future video. I'll say it that way.
Okay, this isn't the first time I've done it in, in my life, and not the first time I've done it today. I missed the first part of that question. Which would you pick between the previous comment, which the triple O twelve E or SC twelve E, and that was the genesis for that whole question on the twelve trim. Would I prefer triple O twelve E over an SC, a close compare, uh, something close in the SC line? No, I think I would go SC only because the SC is so damn comfortable to play. Uh, and I answer that question from what I already own. If I, depending on what somebody already has in their collection, there's a case to be made for the triple O. I think the triple O sounds better or sounds bigger in my lap than an SC, but not by a ton. And then the SC is just so much easier to play. Uh, the, electronically, I haven't gigged with either one of them, but I expect they would both work. Um, so I would give the edge to the SC in that question, if I, if I read all those right. Uh, for some reason, sometimes the comments appear... I thought your your question appeared before your your second question showed up on my monitor before the first one did, or at least that's what my, my brain showed me. So if there's more to that question and I still didn't answer it all, email me later. But I th I think I've answered that. Who knows? Okay, folks, that's going to do it for episode 202 of Guitar Store Virtual Tour. If you ordered a guitar from us today, I'm going to go box that up right now after I re-inspect it. Maybe you ordered accessories, maybe you ordered anything you ordered. That's when it's going to get done. I do appreciate you guys spending your afternoon with us, and thank you very much for bearing with us while we have to switch uh, an occasional show from 4 p.m. to 1 p.m. If you're watching this at 4 p.m., uh, let me know if it sounds stale, if it was left out on the counter too long, or if it doesn't matter at all. Uh, God willing, we'll be back next week at 4 p.m. And I don't think there's anything really on the calendar that's going to stop us from staying at 4 p.m. past next week. Uh, things might come up from now and then, but I believe this is the last time we have to be at 1 o'clock. So let me know what you thought, which was your favorite. And more importantly, if there's something I didn't get to play that you would have wished, that you wish you would have seen, uh, please let me know in the comments or email me, support at mariesmusic.com, and we'll put a little video together on YouTube uh, really within the next day or so if there's something you want to see, especially if you're shopping. So from all of us at Mari's Music, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Enjoy arguing long-scale OM versus long-scale triple O and like, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya. <laughs>